do not need to shut down most of lower Manhattan because one cop died for probably doing his job incorrectly. They kill people who are under 22 every single day for no good reason and we don't shut down the city for them. So, like, this is fucking ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. What if somebody is having a heart attack in this area? Nobody can get to them because it's all blocked off for one fucking cop. A New York City actress was fired from her theater company for mouthing off about the inconvenience of street closures for slain cop Jason Rivera's funeral a vile online rant she quickly deleted after it went viral. We do not need to shut down most of Lower Manhattan because one cop died for probably doing his job incorrectly. They kill people who are under 22 every single day for no good reason, and we don't shut down the city for them, said Jacqueline Guzman on the clip which appeared on TikTok under the handle Vinyl Boobs. Thousands of NYPD officers attend the funeral for fallen detective Jason Rivera on January 28, 2022. Guzman spoke as she filmed herself Friday walking down an empty street, which had been barricaded off. She went on to pan the camera to the closed street. Like this is effing ridiculous. This is effing ridiculous. What if somebody is having a heart attack in this area? Nobody can get to them because it's all blocked off for one effing cop, she ranted. Guzman has been identified as an actor with face-to-face -face films in New York City. Condemnation of Guzman was swift. New Yorkers turned out by the thousands yesterday to help us honor our fallen brother. One person spreading hate cannot erase that. This kind of garbage has polluted the conversation for far too long. We need the New Yorkers who are standing with us to speak up and push back, PBA President Patrick Lynch said. Everything is in the statement, he said. Guzman's bio on the face-to-face -face site, which was later removed, said she is a Cuban-American actress based in NYC, originally from Hialeah, Florida. Guzman had taken down her social media accounts by Saturday night. She did not immediately return a call seeking comment. Although she had deleted the video, it continued to circulate on social media because it had been copied and reposted by other users.